Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 8 in chapter 5. In this one, ask us to find the deceleration. If the road, if there is an angle on this road, so the car is on this slope, right? When this car move up, you can see, when this car is move up, the acceleration must down, or the friction must down. So the friction must down, so we do the force analysis for this situation. First one, we have gravity normal force and the friction pointing down. So in this one, we project the gravity and the x component and the y component. We have mg cosine theta, mg sine theta. Then we consider Newton's second law to apply to far this acceleration, right? Because we need to find deceleration, so we find acceleration. So first one, add the y component, we have f minus mg cosine theta equals zero. And then look at x component, we can see these two forces, friction and the mg sine theta, pointing to the negative x component. So we have negative f and friction, negative mg sine theta equals mass times acceleration. The next one, we can consider the friction. The friction equals to the coefficient times the normal force. And then we input this normal force and the, in the friction. And then in this equation, we find it looks like that way. And then the acceleration equals this one. Do you agree? Yes, and inside we can see the negative side to us the duration is just opposite, is just to the negative x component. And then we look at the magnitude. G is given, theta is given. So we need to look at the coefficient of this friction. How could we find the coefficient of the uh, friction? We look at the first sentence. Tell us if a car is just on a horizontal road, on a level road, right? Uh, it, 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 its uh, deceleration is negative 3.8 meter per second, and then when we come to stationary, so in, it tells us if this car is on the level road, the acceleration is given. So it looks like we can solve this equation to find the coefficient, right? First the thing is it has gravity, normal force, and the friction. So we can write and the vertical component, the normal force minus gravity equals zero. As a horizontal, we have the negative, the friction equals the negative mass times acceleration. This acceleration is given, and then when you solve it, and then we find the friction is this coefficient times the normal force. Input it, we find it's super easy for us to get this uh, coefficient, right? After you can see in this equation, this a is given 3.8, and the g is given, so it's easy for you to find this one, the mu s. After you get mu s, you can input in this equation for the acceleration when this car is just move up with, uh, move up along this slope. Say so if we input the, if we input the quantities inside, we can get the final answer. Thank you.